Hey folks, this is the Oppo Find X. This is the phone with the retractable camera. Check it out. As you can see, it just unlocked. Seeing my face, yes, there it is in its beautiful, absolutely amazing glory and its beautiful slider electric front facing and rear facing camera module yes this is pretty amazing you can see it here so I just got my hands on this um, to play with a little bit and uh, it is beautiful it feels so great in hand the screen is massive it's like six inches or so and you know it's this super shiny beautiful blue finish absolutely gorgeous so yeah as you know this phone is not going to be available in the US but it might be available in some parts of Asia and Europe and uh, you know so getting your hands on one is pretty awesome I want to thank my buddy uh, Michael Fisher Mr. Mobile for uh, lending me his device here briefly while I'm here in Chicago and uh, yeah, I mean, there's not much to say. You get this gorgeous AMOLED screen with, uh, as you can see, edges that kind of fall just like the galaxies. But of course, there's no notch. Here you can see the edge really well. And then in the back, it's um, just a piece of beautiful glass with that little cutout for the camera system. And uh, on the bottom, you've got a USB Type C port, uh, SIM slot, and uh, basically my microphone uh, speaker combo. On uh, the right hand side you have the power lock key. Left hand side has the volume rocker and on top obviously you've got this camera module system that comes out when you enable the camera as you can see and uh, when you put the phone back to sleep it goes back away and as soon as I unlock the phone like this it recognizes, oh, maybe it doesn't recognize my face every time but you get the idea. There you go. So, that's really the gimmick. Uh, the big issue with this phone right now is the software. It is a Chinese phone with Chinese software and it's just impossible to use if you're used to using Android. It's really an, kind of an iPhone, a bad iPhone clone. And uh, I, don't, I don't really think anybody would want to use that. Uh, that's what Michael concluded in his video. And I've played with it briefly. I've played with a bunch of Chinese phones before. And you know, it's like notifications don't behave yet you expect them. Uh, there's no app tray as you can see everything is very iPhone like it's super fast Snapdragon 845 of course um, Lots of gig lots of RAM. I don't have the specs on hand right now, but I think it's six or eight gigs um, Lots of storage as well now, As you'd expect this is the flagship There's just no doubt about it and the camera system is a dual camera system You can see it here in all its glory um, It is a very impressive phone I wasn't a little conflicted when I talked about it on my podcast originally because I felt it was a little gimmicky, but after touching it and playing with it, I have to tell you, this is really an impressive piece of hardware. Uh, you know, of course, there's going to be some durability issues here uh, because we're dealing with mechanical moving parts. So that's it. That's the Oppo Find X. Uh, it's a gorgeous piece of hardware again, and the software really needs a lot of work uh, to be to our standards in the West. Uh, because it really doesn't uh, feel like an Android phone. Uh, but at the same time, you know, this, this incredible hardware is, is, is nothing to um, sneer at. And I'm really excited to potentially get my hands on one of these once uh, the software has been adapted to Europe and or uh, some parts of Asia um, that, uh, you know, give us uh, things like the ability to change the launcher and other features that are not currently possible. So anyway... Uh, stay tuned for more on this phone soon and uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video. And remember, a lot of what I discuss on this channel and show you is um, for my podcast, Mobile Tech Podcast. This is something you should go to and subscribe. We're also on iTunes, Google Podcasts, Pocket Cast, Outcast, all that good stuff. So check it out and I'll talk to you again soon. Cheers, everybody.